inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm having two media files on my timeline and I'm enabling this transform tool from here. Highlighting the top video and I'm going in the inspector. I'm decreasing the values of position Y until I see that this media is going almost halfway to the viewer screen. While still highlighted, I'm also decreasing the values of softness so I can make the edges softer and I'm increasing the zoom values so I can make sure it's still fitting into our screen. I'm highlighting then the other media and I'm doing the same but this time I'm pulling it towards the upside. That means that this time I'm increasing the values of Y position on it. This time I'm also changing the values of rotation angle so I can make sure both of the skies of both medias are connecting to each other. So you can just directly type into rotation angle a values of 180 to be exact. That way they are facing each other straight up. Next I'm just pulling it towards the upside making it look more lined up with the other one and also I'm decreasing the values of size and increasing amount of zoom so I can make sure it's fitting. This is all depending on your footage, you just have to connect them each other so you can have a merge sky. Next up you can highlight both of them, right click and create a new compound clip, then click on create. You can then go to effects library, effects, open effects and then type transform and drag it onto your new compound clip. Go to the inspector while still highlighted and you can create a keyframe next to rotation which is on values of 0 then move further, let's say 3 seconds further, and then you can change the values of rotation to 180. That will make your complete media compound clip spin. Also to make it even smoother, you can increase the amount of motion blur. You can find it in animations and also you can change the age behavior to reflect, which is in advanced options. And this is the final result. And of course, if you want it to rotate faster, you can make the second keyframe closer to the first one. And that's all there is to it. I hope it was helpful. You can also watch this video right here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.